What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads. And what we have here today is the Phillies coming back and winning a baseball game. And, and last game was rained out. Yesterday was rained out. I was sick to my stomach. I'm sitting there shaking like I just want to watch some baseball. So today at 1.30, we actually had another rain delay. And I'm sitting there and I'm crying. Like, come on, I want to watch. We had DeGrom and Aaron Dola on the mound. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this one. In the first inning, we actually had a little bit of trouble by Aaron Nola. A bunt on the shift allows a man on. And then you have Asdrubal Carrera singling. And then you have Cespedes striking out on a nasty pitch by Aaron Nola to get one out in the inning. Adrian Gonzalez walks, and now we got bases juiced with one out. I'm sitting there like, no, come on. Come on, not against the Mets. Flores strikes out. That's two outs, baby. And then Conforto with the ground out. We get out of the inning. Beautiful work. Now, we did do 20-plus pitches for Aaron Nola in the first inning, but that is okay because now we're up. First and second, zero outs. Good job, fellas. Good job. Odubel Herrera at this point is third in the batting order. He puts on a display at the plate, tipping balls, battling, fouling balls back, doing everything he can. And he works a full count and then walks. And it was just a beautiful at-bat. And now that is 41 consecutive games for Odubel Herrera. Bases juiced. Reese Hoskins up to play. Strikes out. And it was an ugly, ugly at-bat. Then Santana grounds out to DeGrom who goes home to get the force out. And then Michael Franco strikes out. Come on, fellas. Not again. Not again. With these runners in scoring position. DeGrom throws 45 pitches in the first inning though. Zero runs to show for the Phillies. And that's it for him. I mean he's coming back from injury. So you know the Mets are going to be a little bit skeptical with how long he was going to stay out there. But 45 pitches in the first inning is actually truly insane. So in the bottom of the second and in the bottom of the third, we have opportunities with men on and we're just struggling in scoring position. I just don't understand. Why? Why? Situational hitting, fellas. Come on. I just don't understand. Men on first and second, one out. Men on first and second, two out. Let's go. Let's get some hits here. Let's let's pile in some runs. In the top of the fifth inning, great defense by this Philly squad. Jorge Alfaro guns out someone trying to steal second base. It was beautiful. Scott Kingery applies the tag. And on top of that, a 3-6-1 double play. Santana to Kingery back to Nola on first base. Who's your daddy? What's he do? Let's go. Let's go. In the top of the six, Cespedes, solo home run off Nola. Nola actually, he misses his location. He hangs a little bit of a pitch. And one to nothing, the Mets take the lead. Then there's first and second, no outs. We get a strikeout. And we get another double play. Cesar Hernandez gets the ball at second base. He applies the tag as the runners go into second. Gets him out at first. And the initial call by the umpires was the runner was out of the baseline. First off, Cesar missed the tag, and the runner was not out of the baseline. So the Phillies definitely escaped there, but hey, we will take it. Bottom of the six, Carlos Santana ropes one right off the right field wall. There's like this much of fence, and he ropes one. He gets a double to start us off. Scott Kingery then walks, so here we go. Alfaro strikes out. Oh, guy on first and second. Aaron Nola gets yanked out of the game here, so he goes six innings, and... Nick Williams comes up the bat. Now, Aaron Nola does allow nine hits. The Mets did swing the bat a little bit. Four strikeouts in six innings, 89 pitches. So here you go. Nick Williams with the pinch hit. He's up the bat. He's sitting there. Dinger, baby! A three-run shot! A three-run shot! Let's go! To take the lead three to one, let's go! So in the top of the seventh, Tommy Hunter comes in. He allows back-to-back doubles, which scores a run. And that second double was so close to being a home run. We got insanely lucky. It could have been tied. Three to two in that inning. So Tommy Hunter gets yanked. Man. um, And then in the bottom of the eighth, 
Carlos Santana with a solo shot, baby. People are complaining about him and whatnot because of his batting average. He did have a double off the wall today. That should have been a home run. And then he crushes a solo home run to center. So he literally was this close to having two dingers. I like Carlos Santana regardless of his batting average because he's got a ton of pop. And in the ninth inning, we're up 4-2. to two. We had problems with... Hector in the past, so who do we put? We put in Ramos. We put in Ramos to close. We give him an opportunity, and he does it. He does it, and we win the ball game 4-2. to two. That's awesome. That's awesome. So out of the three games, we only play two, and we split. We should have won both games. We should have, but listen, at the end of the day, we get the win. We improved to 23-16, and 16, and I'm happy. I'm happy as hell. This team battled back. We got the W. It was a, ch- a really tight game. We go down one, and then in a, a Nick Williams situation to come in with a pinch hit and he does that come on now fellas come on I love it I absolutely love it and you got to give praise to Gabe Kapler on that one because that was a great situation you have six innings you have Aaron Nolan 89 pitches do we allow him to go another one no he says I'm going to go for the pinch hit and it worked and it worked so great win by this Phillies team today With that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. It was fantastic. It's such a big win. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.